How's it going everyone? Today I have a very, very exciting video. Uh, one of my friends back in Virginia told me about this auction probably about a month ago and the car finally has gone live on Bring a Trailer and there are, or there is, excuse me, 15 minutes left on the auction. The car in question, as you can tell from the title, is a 2008 Saab 9.3 Turbo X six speed, very much like the one right behind me right here but it only has 10,000 or it has less than 10,000 miles on it. As always, if you enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. A basic little backstory on the Turbo X. Of course, it was a one year limited run car from Saab, 2.8 V6, uh, 280 horsepower, 295 foot pounds of torque stock. It came with special wheels, which of course mine doesn't have. I changed those out because I'm a basic bitch. I guess that would make me the opposite. Anyways, it also has some special drivetrain components. It has an ELSD in the back. It has a special Haldex all-wheel drive system. Um, it's got unique bumpers. It's got a unique front lip. It's got carbon fiber trim, unique steering wheel. Uh, just a whole bunch of stuff that's unique to this car specifically. So they only made 2,000 of them worldwide. In the US, they only imported 600 of them. Of those 600, 221 were manual sedans, one of them being the one that's getting auctioned off right now, and another one being mine right behind me. Now, the only major difference between these two cars, well, I guess besides the fact that this one is, I guess, now heavily modified, uh, is that this one has 180,000 more miles than this one that's being auctioned. So, yeah, but anyways, I'm really excited about this. Um, so we're gonna go through all the details of the car right now outside of what I already talked about, and then we'll watch the end of this auction and see how much it goes for. So currently the bid is at $17,125. I've been watching this ever since it went live a week ago and it's been it's just been slowly creeping up there. Uh, so I don't know, we'll see how much it goes for. I'm hoping, or I'm thinking somewhere in the 25 range. So here's the car in question, pretty much, you know, less than 10,000 miles. It has two owners from what I was reading and it was with the original owner until less than a year ago when uh, the current owner bought it and I guess fixed it up a little bit and is now auctioning it. And one of the questionable things that I saw people were talking about on the, uh, the Facebook groups when this got posted initially was that it is actually repainted. So a lot of people were saying that this was, that it being repainted hurts the value of the car. Now, unless the paint was really destroyed beforehand, which I would find that hard to believe on such a low mileage car that's probably been sitting in a garage for 99.9% .9 of its life. So I'm not really sure why the uh, current owner decided to repaint it, but I could see an argument where that could hurt the value. But nonetheless, a repaint means fresh new paint. So all things considered, I don't think it would hurt the value a ton. It's not like the Turbo X was in some super special, unique color. It did only come in this black, but it's not like this specific black was only unique to the Turbo X. So here's the photos of the car. I mean, from everything I can see, it seems to be in perfect condition. I mean, it's a less than 10,000 miles, less than 10,000 miles is from New Mexico, so I'd assume that means zero rust. Lots of uh, <laughs> exterior pictures. That's pretty cool next to the jet. Don't see any rock chips or anything. I mean, it looks, I'm sure the paint job is pretty much brand new, so it's in fantastic shape. One thing I just noticed right now is usually the Turbo X badge, I'll put a picture on the screen right now, has a little cross wheel drive under it too, and this one doesn't have that. So I'm not sure what that is. Maybe that, because it got removed when it was repainted, I'm guessing, maybe they didn't put that back on for some reason, but there should be a little cross wheel drive badge uh, with that Turbo X badge on there. Just overall really nice condition car. And I, I was just up at, not to go off on a tangent here, but I was just up at South Mountain a couple days ago. You guys will see a video on that soon or it might already be out. I don't know when I'm uploading these. But just the sunset reflecting off of the color on this car, you can see it in this picture right here. It's just absolutely, it just, oh, it looks so good. Anyways, <laughs> more pictures with the jets. You can see the wheels. Looks like they're curb rash free, which is always a, a, a good sign. Oh, another thing, it has new tires I saw that were replaced a year ago, so it doesn't have those 12 year, or what would be 12 year old tires, Pirelli P0 Nero, so that's a pretty good tire to say the least. Some interior shots, 
absolutely gorgeous shape. I mean, zero wear on any of the interior as you would expect. It has OEM nav. This car I added navigation to, but this to have it from factory and to also be a manual, that's pretty freaking cool. 9,581 miles. That's just, that's amazing. I mean, everything I'm seeing here, it appears to be in just about perfect shape. I'm not seeing any, any flaws just as I'm skimming through these photos here. Engine bay looks brand new as well. No surprises there. Underside of the car. I mean, you can tell that the seller of this car really went to all the lengths to make sure that this was not just sprayed down before he took some pictures. Like, I mean, look at the underside of that. Look at the subframe. I mean, it is just no leaks, no nothing anywhere on there. You can see the cross wheel drive unit there. Pretty cool to see how it all works. But I mean, you can just see how nice of a shape this car is in. So this is, this is incredible to see. I mean, even back behind the brakes there, that's all gorgeous and completely clean. Okay, well now I see why it was repainted. I probably should have looked through the pictures a little bit more before making assumptions, but yeah, so maybe it did spend a lot of its life outside because that's some pretty hideous sun fade. I also happen to see that this sold on Bring a Trailer earlier today as well for $8,000. So this, not what the video is about, but I'll just show it really quick. 900 turbo with super aero wheels. Absolutely gorgeous color, gorgeous car. It has like 130,000 miles on it. it. Sold for $8,000, which I think is a pretty solid price considering it's a bring a trailer car, which obviously means it's in fantastic shape. Two very boring minutes later. I guess let's see what happens. I expect the price to go up a significant amount because if someone gets it for this price, that would be an absolute steal. 17.5, okay, maybe we can get some Live bids right here, 17.5 by that guy, MD. And I like this comment right here. The cool factor is incredibly high with this one. Just look at those wheels. You'll never find anything like this anymore. Turbo V6s aren't done anymore in Saab nose turbos. That's true. It's kind of in the name of the car. It's weird though, as we're waiting for this to uh, jump up again in price, I was looking at their home screen here earlier and they have, I don't know where it was. Yeah, there it is. They have a Sherman tank for sale on here for almost half a million dollars. So that's pretty crazy. Didn't know that they uh, auctioned stuff like that. Almost down to 10 seconds now. I mean, come on, someone's gotta put another bid in. This is, this is really cheap. I am surprised. Okay, whoa. It went from 17.5 to 23.575. Wow, he jumped up $6,075. Hauser said, I don't want to, <laughs> yeah, exactly, boom. He didn't want to deal with the bidding war and he had to do it with like three seconds left too. Like that guy almost thought he got it for 17,000, which was a steal. What a savage. Mad respect to Hauser for that, whoever you are. 10 seconds again. Five. Wow, he won it. Says right there, sold for twenty three five seventy five. Wow, I did not expect. As my computer just restarted itself, so my computer froze and restarted right after I. Uh, filmed that very last section that you just saw and the screen recording stopped right at two seconds left on the auction but it sold uh for 23,575. so in the end i was hoping to see this car go for 25 like i kind of said in the beginning but i i guess not 23,575. that's still a solid number though given the mileage and assuming this car doesn't get driven i don't see how it can lose any more value i think if this stay, if this becomes like a museum type car and it, it doesn't get driven, which I don't think whoever bought this intends to daily drive it by any means, but if this car stays in this kind of condition, um, I, it's it's not going to lose any more value. So this is probably someone whoever bought this is probably buying it as an investment. But nonetheless, um, not the crazy bidding war I was necessarily hoping for. I mean, we got the six thousand dollar jump there. 
I think that's gonna wrap it up for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all next time.